Hello, welcome back. Uh, did some sphere leveling, so I'm actually going to go ahead and save, but we're going to explore. Yield an airship on its maiden voyage here. I'm going to talk to everyone. Well, I will actually explore before I talk to everyone. That will trigger something I do not care for. Uh, there's some Albed potions here. I don't really care. There's also, uh, despite popular belief, a way to gain some experience on this airship. Uh, popular belief, and I actually thought this as well, was that once you were on this airship, you're basically at this level, and this is, you know, what you would get. Anyway, here's the Albed Blitzball team, which is surprisingly still alive. Glad we got them out first. We owe our lives to the Albed. However, no matter how they beg, we cannot quit our pilgrimage. Even though you'll die? I've known since I was a child. My will is set. If I do not do it, someone else must, you understand. Indeed. There's Rin, by the way, which we will see if he has any well, items I would like to purchase. It you too have escaped, Hob. Indeed. You were on the ship too? I came to home to pick up some goods and found myself here. Quite the escape. <sighs> Thankfully, my goods were spared. Please let me know if you need any of my wares. I might. Depends on what you have, really. Um, just traditional items, it looks like. These are actually... That one's not really of any use to us, but this one could be potentially good. I'm not going to buy it, but... Um, all of these seeker items have the potential to be good because they all have HP plus 10 and an empty slot. Glorious Ring's actually better, but... Um, I'm not going to be customizing really Thank any you. gear very much all yet, proceed. so... Ah, how is your progress ah. with our language? None too shabby. Check this out. Hella do Sadwi. Just repeating what I've said is not talking now. But your pronunciation's quite passable. You've been studying, I see. You got a complicated language. Yeah, One letter you. per book. Need to sort that complications out. Uh, we're going to buy a whole bunch of things here. Primarily a bunch of these. Actually just gonna do that. Just buy a miscellaneous quantity of these things. Yeah, sure, that works. Why not? Uh, we can buy a bunch of distillers. I do not believe we have any desire to actually have any of those distillers. And we're going to buy... A bunch of these. Not going to buy any potions, though, because I don't care. And we're done. Thank you. We're stuck 95,000 gil. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patronage, whatever. Um, if you go down into, I believe... The engine room is what it is. Uh, enemies will actually spawn there, and you can utilize that to gain levels prior to the boss in this area. Spoiler. Look, I'm really tired. Leave me. If it's not an emergency, would you mind leaving? <sighs> okay. Will do. Wait. Uh, there's... Something I want to ask you. What would you think if I said I... I was giving up my pilgrimage? Show some sympathy. Oh, like all the sympathy you showed me first time we met. <sighs> You're right. Quitting now would be sort of anticlimactic, no? Tell Yuna something, would you? Tell her she still has a rival. Me. Tell her she'd better do her best or be bested. You'll tell her, won't you? Uh, probably not, really. I literally don't care. She looks like someone you can recruit. It may be someone else somewhere else, but... She reminds me of a Blitzball character you can actually recruit. 
I don't think any of these people have anything interesting to say, really. I'm just looking around. I could talk to all of them. They're all like, oh no, we, we blew up home and, you know, we barely escaped and the god over evil. And they all basically say that. As true as that may be, there's no time for that now. Perhaps. And yes, this is the ship from the very beginning of the game, actually. The one that we got out of the ocean, as that man says. It's kind of cool. Actually, it's a really cool looking airship, to be honest. It is the first 3D game, so it is the first airship that is in 3D, but they did a pretty good job of it. Hi, Kamari. Kimari never forget the Albert sacrifice. Indeed, Kamari will remember. Hashtag Kamari never forgets. Just on a hashtag spree lately. Nina, then what? You want to keep her safe, correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course! If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she will die. Sure as if you killed her yourself. No harebrained law or teaching could send my little niece to her death. When I save her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. Even against her will? Better than a dog's death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree. You are the captain. Good. Then it's settled. Indeedly. He called Yuna his uh, niece, right? It's because she is. I mean, so that makes her our bed, right? Don't say it. Yuna's Yuna, right? Just like Riku is Riku, no Waka what chill happens, Yuna won't give up her pilgrimage. Like Yuni Achan Bem Kuneshka? I like, by the way, how you can fully understand what she actually says here. If you get all of the books, anyway. If you don't, you can't understand what she says there, but it's quite nice. Uh, we need to talk to Dude Man McGee over here. Vidran! Fafoyuna! Frana! Efen Krufui! I feel shufu. of St. Bavel, heart of Yevon. Gramps, let's move! Easy, kiddo. Bavel's defenses are top-notch. What's the matter, Gramps? Are you scared? Yuna's there, so we go and get her! And that's all! <laughs> you got guts? God, we can do Bavel! It'll take a while to get to Bavel. Meanwhile, we prepare for battle. I like the little pose he does there, it's great. What's Seymour doing alive? Didn't we take care of him in Macalania? We didn't send him. He is dead. As dead as Jiskel was. His attachment to this world kept him from the next. Oh, scary. Aura knows all about the this, doesn't must he? must be trying to send him. Wonder if that'll work. Perhaps he won't expect it. I'm glad Yuna's okay and all, but what's with those fancy clothes? It's called a wedding dress. <laughs> what? 
I I like that uh, back and forth. The I really of the like it for some reason. The water. There may be underwater fighting. You or Riku should study your magic, just in case. I didn't realize she actually said that. That would be pretty useful to have someone who knew some magic down there. Uh, we're not going to, but, you know. At least we have Albed potions, so we have healing. We are being attacked from within. Hi, Ren. Some of the Guado that attacked home must have snuck on board. You're awfully calm about it. I am calm about most things. Fiends! There's nothing to do but... But destroy the ship and all go down together. Huh? Huh. You gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. If you crash the ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Leave the fiends to us professionals. Yeah, let's go! I suppose there, Riku. Thanks! Riku, you've made some very good friends, I think. Good luck. Look how Rin, like, creeper leans in. Good lord. Anyway, now we're out here. We. Rin's still there. You can talk to him if you need to buy anything if you didn't do it before. In the meantime, head back to where we saw that other save point, which we will be utilizing. Before we go too much farther. You might notice there's some people on the left that look a little bit concerned about the situation. And they're rightfully so concerned about the situation. Let's uh, look at our party here. So we need Titus in the... That was the entirely wrong button. What am I looking at? Formations. Here we go. I need you here. Uh, Waka and Aran. No, we'll put Riku in. Let's see how this works. Sometimes this fight is difficult for me. Do the Yevon worms think to kill us all? I think is what he said. Um. But it should go all right. The main tricky part of this fight is it's uh, half damage all elements, so Humphrey will do basically nothing, and Lulu is almost worthless. Unless you have level 3 magic, which we do, so she's mostly worthless. So it gives us some potions, uh, which again provide our healing because we don't have a Yuna. Now there's a rare sight. Say hello to our friend, by the way. Whoa, that's huge! What is that? The guardian worm, Evre. The great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me? We're gonna fight that thing. Get on deck and show him what you got. Go! There he goes again. The ferryman asks a high price. He asks a very high price, and Ren runs up here just to, like, you know, a final chance to make sure you've purchased any items you desire. And this will take you up to the deck automatically, like magic. Else has the trigger commands for it. Win. Huh? So yep. Roger, I'll give the commands. Not alone, you won't. When it's far away, you have the opportunity to fire missiles upon it. When it's close, obviously your main attackers can deal damage to it. So. 
So Sid has turns, he shows up on the right, he is, if you can't tell, the fifth one down, right above Riku there. Uh, step one. Uh, this is Riku, so we don't really have a step one. Steal from it? Can you steal anything from it? Not really anything useful. You may as well steal from it anyway. Anyway, step one, the original step one, cast slow on this guy. He will remove it eventually, but it's helpful in the meantime. Uh, another good thing to do is our, our, uh, power break him, if possible. Yep, there we go. So you are actually going to leave the party in favor of Kimari for right now. Because Kimari is a physical attacker and it's close, so next step, haste Titus. Humphrey, as it were. Who might die would be very bad, but hey. Um, we can't actually use another haste. So we'll actually use an item. We'll check on a high potion item. You have to keep in mind Sid's turns, and I'm actually going to go ahead and pull back. Even though this is going to actually reduce our damage. Just a minute. Hold on. He moves when it's his turn, by the way, so... You don't have to say, you know, move away right before his turn, but that's generally what I end up doing. So now your main attackers will consist of Waka, who will be probably the more viable of the two in the long term. Um, I don't remember when we actually get the opportunity to... fire missiles on him. I don't know if it, Sid does it automatically, if he's just far away or not. He does this, by the way, which I hate. has the chance of, more or less, you know, murdering you pretty rapidly. So we have level 3 spells, uh, so we will still do a decent amount of damage with magic. If you don't have level 3, Lulu's basically worthless. You can see she does almost nothing already. I guess I'll just keep uh, Waka hasted. Probably not- well, I may as well haste Lulu. She gets so few turns, though. I kind of want to save that, so we're just going to go ahead and keep cheering. Either Humphrey or Riku will be in the party basically all the time, because they're the only two that can use uh, trigger commands. We're going to get a lot of cheers off, good god. Maybe that'll help people from dying so easily. It looks like this fight is going to be on the easy side this time. He does have some dangerous attacks. There we go. He just does it automatically if it's far away then. If it's close, he can't fire missiles, obviously. So this, you can't haste him either, obviously he's an airship. So that'll, that'll help your uh, damage quite a bit. Let me check something, actually. Do Arin and Kamari have haste on them? I don't think they do. No, he doesn't. Let's bring Arin in, haste him. Just so that he's prepared for the future, you know. What did I cast on him last time? Thundaga? I don't know. It's just... Yeah, it was Thundaga last time, so I remember the animation. Eventually, he'll try to get close to you again. Or you can just go to him, which is probably what I'll actually end up doing. Having him farther away does reduce the damage he'll do, but it's also nice to, you know, be close to the dude so you can get your big hitters on him. Not that Sid isn't a big hitter. He's pretty substantially powerful. And there goes the haste. Which sucks, because now he's really, really, really fast. Um... And I don't, re I don't remember being able to slow him at this point. I think he's like immune to it. I think he becomes immune to slow at this point. So we'll see if the spell works. 
At least removes the haste. Here's the close-in ability. Which is gonna hit like a truck. That was really weird, but okay. Oh, it actually did basically nothing. But it's really close now, so hey. I will bring uh, Humphrey back in and see if we can slow it, because if we can, it's it's really, there's no risk to the fight. It does do this, though. Which I wish it didn't. Um, Humphrey. Sid, just, he's probably going to complain about something, but just chill out. I think that removes haste as well when you get hit by stone. Yeah, it does. Which I hate. Haste Kamari. Because he'll actually get a turn prior to the boss, which we may end up killing him. No, we won't. Pretty close, though. I forgot to mention, he has 32,000 hit points and he has a 2k overkill. So RN is going to be the one to do the last hit on him. That roar, I think, is like a buff, but I don't remember. So this is the end. It should kill him, it should do the overkill, which means we'll get a ton of AP. That's basically the whole fight. Get rid of his haste. Uh, if you have Dispel, obviously. If you don't, just haste as many of your characters as possible to counter it, because you can't slow him, I don't believe, at that point. He will recast haste periodically if the fight lasts long enough, but it shouldn't. We are slightly overleveled, I think, despite doing no grinding, but I believe we are slightly overleveled. As long as he's not close to you for too long when your party is weak, especially once he's hasted, you should be able to survive. Once he's hasted, he'll petrify and then shatter constantly.
Welcome to Bavel. It's a fun place. Yuna! We have to work our way through all of those very angry men right after doing a boss fight, so go ahead and top up the Machina. Excuse me, the Machina in the uh, Bavel area provides some really good experience, so that's a thing. These guys, however, don't, and they're really annoying. Make sure you kill the red ones first, by the way. They don't have anything really good to steal, either. The red ones, uh, really? Kamari? He did 4,900. The red ones are flamethrower guys, and they will just sweep across your whole party, so they're the main threat in terms of the troops. Otherwise, Machina are generally going to be the main threat for ability series. Nice. Let's change our party. Um, well, really, it doesn't matter. No, not that. We'll leave Auron in. Because he'll be the big hitter against Machina. You cannot steal from these Machina to destroy them. These are, like, Yevon anti-theft Machina or whatever. Oh, it's going to be problematic. This particular one can eject a character. Which, as you imagine, is kind of annoying. You know, being ejected. Not the best thing in the world. Are they weak to water? They are. Interesting. Also useful. They don't always do it. I don't know what the, like, the proc for ejecting someone is, but they seem to do it somewhat haphazardly. Like, sometimes they'll eject 100% of the time. In some games, they don't do it at all, so I'm not entirely sure what it is that makes them eject someone. But so long as you can kill these guys in one hit, it's basically a joke, because that means you can wipe out the flamethrower guys before they do anything at all. Decent experience. Um, you'll probably need some experience before too much longer, but there'll be a good grinding area at that point. I don't think you can even go to the side paths, or that there's anything down there, so I'm not going to bother. That's, this is going to be as good as this fight can go, I bet. Unless he ejects someone. Well, he's ejecting someone. Which I wish he hadn't done, but he did. So that means he's going to get two attacks, because now we can't kill him. Hmm. Can eject another one. He can and generally will eject most of your party. I don't believe he can eject everyone in your party, but once he gets two out, it's, you know, pretty risky. You may just up and kill everyone in your party suddenly, who knows. When you're ejected, you get no experience, just like as if you had died. It doesn't hurt you, though. Stay right now there, with these guys, uh, you cannot hit the guys in the back, as it says there, without defeating these first, unless you're using ranged. That was garbage. If you're using ranged, you can just do whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. I should actually be using Lulu rather than Auron here, I believe. I feel, anyway. So, how shall we do this? Especially for this guy in the back here, who's weak to fire and water, so we're just gonna one-shot him. Or not. Oh, that's right! They're, yeah, they're, despite being weak, they're actually defensive against, uh, magic. So that was a giant waste of time! Kind of forgot about that little tidbit of information. Oh well. They being ranged can hit you from range. That's basically what I was getting at there, and I confused myself. I hit pretty hard, too. They show up uh, later as well. The grinding area I'm talking about, you basically just fight that over and over again, and it's pretty good experience for the amount of time enough. it takes. Stop.
You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. <laughs> Stop! Do you not value your friends' lives? Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. Sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. No! Throw down your weapons. Let them go, or else. Leave now, please. You're coming with us! Don't worry, go! This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe. What's that? An all-bed flash bomb! Let me go! 
I'm gonna kill that Seymour. Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through! Ah! Ah! Where'd Yuni go? The Bell Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Faith! I saw a save point. I'd like to go to that save point. Can I have a save point? Totally gonna have that save point. It's too quiet. A trap? Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us! Huh? What's a Machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean! The teachings! What about the teachings? Hey! Don't look at me! The revelations! They come quick and fast. Apparently we have to- What is the point of that save point if I can't go to the bloody save point? Seriously? I can't leave. What? Why is there a save point there? That's bizarre. You can walk down manually. Um, alternatively, you can just use this fancy pants weird like elevator piece that they've created here, which I would recommend. It's another, another one. Another machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> They treated us like dirt. I swear there's a save point you can use before you do this. Because we're heading to the Trials, by the way. Or the Cloister of Trials, anyway. Which I'd rather save. Yeah, there's a save point. Okay. And an Albert Primer. To the trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Why is there an Albert Primer here? Let's go and see. Let's go. Seriously, why is an Albed Primer in the Bevel Temple? Doesn't make any sense. Huzzah! We've actually got quite a lot of the Albed Primers. I think they show up in this list, yeah. I mean, look at that! We're up to 22! That's a lot of Albed Primers. There's a few more, obviously, otherwise I would have gotten an achievement that popped up, or a trophy, as they're called on this. But for now, uh, that's going to be the end of this set. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.